this where it doesn't matter how many doctor's checkups you get, it doesn't affect the incidence of juvenile diabetes, and still you get the gradient. Ah, okay, it's because poor people have higher rates of smoking, higher rates of drinking to excess, higher rates of imprudently living next to toxic waste dumps, things that you control for those. That explains only about a third of the variability. Ah, poor people can't afford to have the protective factors. You don't get the vacations, you don't get the health clubs, you don't get, that explains a tiny percentage of the variability. What it's about is the psychological stress of being poor. And the best evidence for that is, it's not so much being poor, it's feeling poor. Right. Right. This was work pioneered by Nancy Adler here at UCSF, looking at people's objective socioeconomic status versus subjective. How do you feel you're doing compared to other people? And it turns out your subjective SES is a better predictor of your health than your objective. It's not being poor, it's feeling poor. And what is it that is the surest way to make the poor feel poor? Rubbing their noses in it. Work by a guy named Richard Wilkinson in the UK showing